everybody. Monday, September 21st, day seven of corn chopping. We're on this field now. This is about 25 acre piece. Um, this is the one we put the, had the liquid manure injected in this spring. There's a lot of corn out here. A lot of places, it's just about as high as the chopper box. Um, so that's really good. There is, I'll show you later, if you run up here with the four wheeler, uh, a lot of bear damage in here. There was some very well fed bears, some coon, raccoon damage too, but seen a lot of spots with bears. And it's kind of funny, I haven't seen any bears, you know, out in the open, but I guess you don't always see that. But I know there's, there's a, quite a bit of damage out here, but we'll show you some of that later. But anyway, uh, I filled the feeder wagon already this morning for the cows, and I chopped one wagon full. Actually, one of the issues I'm having here, this field is pretty long, and not that it's a bad problem to have, but the corn is so good, I can't make a full round with the wagon. I can with this bigger wagon, just barely, but the, the two smaller, the smaller badger and that red wagon, I can't make a full round, so we kind of got to kind of jockey that around a little bit but anyway that's a good problem to have so I'm not uh, not complaining about that just takes a little more time and kind of finagling around where you want to end up so but anyway I'm gonna pull that feeder wagon back now feed the cows um, climb the silo see how much more that's gonna take uh, and then I got to do some figuring out too I'm gonna wind up doing well one bag for sure maybe more than one depending on how full the silo is uh, so I got to talk, a friend of mine's got a bagger, um, he is actually going to be, my grandpa's corn is not going to make picking corn this year, so uh, a friend of mine, Johnny, he dairy farms across the river from me, I think he's going to buy my grandpa's corn for silage, and that's usually whose bagger I use, so I got to kind of coincide with him on what, uh, when, when he's going to chop and see if I can get it for, to finish this, so. And I got to pick up a bag yet too. But anyway, um, so right now I'm going to take the, I got the 530 case up here. I brought that feeder wagon up. I'll pull that back out and feed the cows. I'm going to drive down the field here a little bit where I split it to show you some of that bear damage. But, um, I guess I can see why the bears were in here. It's pretty nice corn. There's one spot here, this is a smaller one. Yeah, the bears, they just sit in one spot and just rake it in. There's another spot. Another one, a little bit bigger. Nice corn here though. That liquid manure sure makes a difference. There's another little spot in there, but that might have been raccoons. Now there's a spot, little one. I split the field in another place. Uh, to the north here further and it's kind of the same along there just patches here and there where they sat down and had a good meal but that's farming I guess there's another big spot in there I hadn't really been paying too much attention because the last few years I haven't really had any bear damage, but uh, they were definitely out this year. I'm surprised this field, uh, I suppose because of the manure maybe, this one didn't, the spray didn't kill as clean. Well it killed good to start with, but a lot of, quite a bit of stuff that came back, but 
when you got that manure in there you uh, can definitely have weeds but boy there's some nice nice cobs on here nice corn this stuff here well this is kind of a gravelly knob so this is a little drier here but this stuff did freeze now like this ear is a little harder but uh, some of this is you can tell it's starting to dry down now it's tripped but it's uh, still got some pretty good green to it yet but anyway, I'm going to go get the feeder wagon and feed the cows. are really changing now. Yeah. Okay, you go back in the suburban.
this is the Kettle River. This goes alongside the cornfield. So yeah, a lot of our fields have very pretty views. Last silage for the day, just cleaning up around the on the ground around from what the wagon spilled. Well, that's finishing up day seven. My brother Paul was up there. What'd you say? This load that you just put in there now is pretty close. Pretty close. So it'll probably take another another load or two, and this one will be about it, and probably a little bit more on the other one. Put the cap on there, and then we'll uh, the rest of it'll be bagged. There's quite a bit left, so so that's a good problem to have, but. Anyway, see you tomorrow morning for day eight.